I think you realize when you go through what I went through, which was a paralyzed vocal cord, that you count your blessings and you don't take things for granted. And I don't take this tournament for granted. You know, this is our 15th year. We've raised $6 million for a great hospital that's helped so many kids, not just from St. Louis, but from all over the world. And so uh, to be a part of it and to have my name on it, I realized that it could be pretty much anybody's name that people would come out and support this thing because it's it's – worthwhile and you know people are going to be playing today have jobs they have things to do they have kids they have commitments but this is a special day in the summer for all of us or the spring and uh, I'm really really honored that these people come out. The St. Louis Rams will be participating uh, this is a big week for St. Louis every week uh, everybody's living on pins and needles uh, how, how do you understand the psyche of the St. Louis sports fans? Well, I think the St. Louis sports fans are, are, it's been said a billion times probably, I think they're some of the best in, in the country. Um, I think the NFL situation is unfortunate that, you know, a team that has been so bad on the field uh, with high prices, it's expensive to go to sporting events. I get paid to be there, but other people are paying their hard-earned money to, to come through the doors there. You know, the teams needed to be better, and, and I would bet everything I have that if the team was a division winner and competitive year after year, this wouldn't even be a conversation because people would be going down there to watch them. They haven't been, and so it's made it easier for the perception to be that St. Louis doesn't support the NFL, and that's just not the case. So um, I'm hopeful that with Dave Peacock and Bob Blitz and the efforts behind the scenes to build a new stadium, which I think would be great for downtown in general, forget the team, uh, that something can be done and they stay here. But uh, it remains to be seen whether that vote passes and, and whether a shovel goes into the ground. Uh, you had some pretty strong comments. They said they were strong contents, uh, comments, but you spoke from the heart. Yeah, well, I mean, and I wasn't wrong. I mean, I've been wrong about plenty of things, but back when I made the comments about Stan Kroenke's decision and desire to be in L.A., I was right. And, uh, and you know, it, it's, it's unfolded that way. And we'll see if he gets his wish. We'll see if the Rams are going. We'll see if just he's going with another team. We'll see if, if they go, if somebody else comes here. But, you know, uh, we'll, we'll find all that out. And I don't think anybody has any real firm information as to how this is going to play out. I know you've been asked this before. I'm just switching gears real quick. Uh, if you call the Cardinals World Series in 06 and 11, which one was better for you? 11, just because it was insane. I mean, the fact that they came back and won the wild card the way they did on the final day was, I mean, that team was given up for dead uh, at the beginning of September. And they should have been because they really didn't play that well. And then they got better and better and better. And teams around them started to fall apart. Atlanta started to fall apart, and there they were in the postseason. And I would tell you that Game 6 of the 2011 World Series is the best single game I've ever witnessed, whether I've been behind the mic or I've been in the seats or I've been on the couch. And uh, getting that opportunity to call that is is literally the top highlight in my career to this point. And if, if that's it the rest of my life, then I'll be a lucky guy. All right, Joe Bucks, what do you have next coming out? Well, I got the U.S. Open. I'm doing golf on Fox, and uh, that's a big challenge. You know, we've got that in June. Never done golf before at that level, and uh, trying to learn and get better every day, just like everybody else, whatever they do. And I had a great teacher in my father, um, but golf was not part of the curriculum. <laughs> so I'm, I'm trying to learn that myself, and we'll figure it out. Thanks so much, Joe. appreciate your time. So good to see you again. All right.